who are watching my video and this is the video for the students of class 11th biology so uh, this topic is from the chapter number 4 unit 1 animal kingdom and in this video uh, the topics uh, from the or you can say phylum from the porifera to nematihelminthes okay till this it will be explained so just begin with this begin with the porifera okay porifera this is the phylum of sponges sponge you know very well sponge dekha hai kaise hota hai wo porous hua karta hai okay so isiliye uh, is group ke ya is phylum ke members ko sponges kehte hain because their body is porous one and most of them are marine and asymmetrical and they have the cellular level of organization and uh, for the transport uh, water transport system is there means the water which enters means the body is the porous one so from all those pores water enters into the body and the, these uh, pores are called as the ostia and this brings the food with water okay so uh, means everything that is nutrition respiration excretion that that all is performed by the pathway of water transport system and they poses an internal skeleton which is made up of spicules or spongin fibers this is very important to know okay and uh, they produce eggs and sperms that is means they are the hermaphrodite both they produce and asexual reproduction that occurs by budding and fragmentation and uh, as I told you that the, they produce the egg and the sperm means this is the part of a uh, this is a part of sexual reproduction so the fertilization is internal and the development is indirect so we have the example of cycon uh, spongilla euplectilla okay glass sponges all these are there which belongs to this phylum you can see here okay euplectilla okay these organisms they all belong to this. then phylum nidaria cylindrates okay everyone know hydra in the previous classes you have gone through hydra is known to everyone so these are aquatic and most of them are again marine and they are free swimming and they do uh, they have the tissue level of organization okay diploblastic and they have the single opening in their body and one important thing which we should know and keep in mind that they show two types of body okay they show two types of body called as the polyp and the medusa one you will see in the next slide uh, that pictures will uh, those pictures will help you to keep in mind okay retain in mind so when we talk of polyp and medusa the polyp is sessile and it is fixed cylindrical okay the hydra you know okay if hydra comes to your mind so that is the polyp one okay adamsia and when we say medusa medusa is umbrella like okay medusa is umbrella like and that also swims right so uh, this is so so the exhibit in polyform and the medusa form and some nidarians are there which exhibit both the forms like example we have of obelia okay so uh, what happens the polyp produces uh, medusa asexually and medusa produces polyp sexually okay so they have tissues but no organs and one important again thing like that the body is uh, of uh, two types that is polyp medusa and second important thing is they have a special stinging cells nidocytes and that is for defense and offense okay so these two are very important characteristics here you can see jellyfishes and all it belongs to this and you can see in here the medusa form is umbrella like and the polyp is like of hydra which is fixed to one place okay this is so then phylum tenophora okay commonly known as com jellies or sea walnuts 
and they are exclusively marine diploblastic uh, they have the radially symmetry okay and tissue level of organization the important thing and the unique thing uh, in them is their body bears uh, means eight ciliated comb plates and that's why they are called as comb jellies okay so this help in locomotion and second unique feature is their bioluminescence that is a uh, phenomena of emitting light okay so these are very important uh, two unique features and they are hermaphrodite and fertilization is external so we have the example of tenoplana okay and pleurobranchia these are the members belong to the tenophora now phylum platyhelminthes platy matlab plate like that is flat means we are talking of the worms they are the flat worms means flat means they have the dorsal and the ventral surface okay and uh, body symmetry if we say that is bilateral they are triploblastic see from here it begins triploblastic and acelomate and they have the organs so they belong to organ levels of organization and they are the worms they have the hooks and suckers okay uh, they are present in the parasitic forms means those who, which are which uh, just um, parasitic in nature they have the hooks and suckers and this will help them to draw the nutrition from the host body okay and they have the help uh, they have the flame cells which help in osmoregulation and excretion okay so we have the example of tinea solium planaria fasciola these are and you can see this is here you can see the liver fluke planaria these are then escahelminthes escahelminthes means they are round worms so round worms they are and they may be free living aquatic terrestrial or parasitic and plants or animals they do have the bilateral symmetry one important feature from here is that elementary canal is complete with well developed muscular pharynx and second thing they are dioecious okay and female is longer than the male so we have the example of ascaris vocereria and in cyclostoma okay hookworms so these are uh, you can see here this is ascaris female is longer and second one is vocereria vocereria ek tarike se aur yaad rakh sakte hain और जो हाथी पाव डिजीज होती है ना एलिफेंट आयसिस एलिफेंट आयसिस जो हुआ करता है हाथी पाव वो इसी वचरेरिया वम्स के कारण ही हुआ करता है ओके फाइलेरियल वम्स हम उसको फाइलेरियल वम्स भी कहते हैं तो ये है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड टिल एस्किलमिंतीस सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इट विल बी कंटिन्यूड फ्रॉम द एनिलेडा थैंक यू